Product SOS, I'm BA. I know this is everyone out there. Most folks have this uh, idea of making their own uh, liquor, their own, their own alcohol, whatever. And this is probably by far the easiest and probably the most delicious that you can make and brew in your home. It's super easy. And it's so easy, I'm going to take you through it. Now I'm going to do a, this is a food grade bucket. You, know, you just use a food grade bucket. Yeah, you can even buy a, just a Lowe's bucket or a Home Depot bucket. doesn't matter. One of these guys, get yourself a lid. Now, I already had originally this kit that has this uh, little hole here at the top. And that's for your, uh, to let the gas out, right? So, it's got to percolate. You know, it does its thing. And I take this out. I'm going to take that out and we'll put that in that. So, I'm not going to use this little bucket today. All I'm using for this is to carry my goods. Now, I've got everything from uh, uh, your BAC count and all that stuff. You want to know your alcohol level, you've got a tube for that. So, you can check that when you're done. You can also, uh, you have an extractor tube, so you can extract. And there's your hose that goes to your extractor. You don't need that. It's, it's, it's convenient to have, especially when you're working pan over. When you're filling wine bottles, when you're filling wine bottles, it's so much easier. I'm going to have a wine rack for these things, but uh, it's so much easier than paying you back over. Hopefully, you guys don't get dizzy. Don't get dizzy on me. All right. So, now originally, like I've, I've taste tested a few of my batches. This is one of them here that was from a while back, and this was absolutely amazing. So, I'm putting this back in its slot. I'm not opening it. <laughs> Be careful when you open these little guys because they will... <laughs> The, the top kind of, you know what I mean? It's like it's like popping a wine bottle when you open one of these things. So just be careful. And it makes a, a huge shotgun sound. So uh, anyway, originally, if I'm doing a gallon, I just use this guy. I brew a gallon with this. And this work does the trick every time. It already has the hole in the top. I've just got it covered because it's sanitary. On the inside, it's sanitary. On the outside, it's not. You want to sand it clean. It, it helps. This is what I use. This is my Santa Clean solution, and you can pick that up on Amazon or wherever. Santa Clean, anyway. Uh, I might put some links in here, but if you go to the Amazon store that I have my little link, it has all this crazy stuff in it. And you use a certain amount of Santa Clean per bucket. Just clean it out. It, there's, it's, it's pretty simple. You can't screw it up. Just one cap of this guy, dump it in there, add water, scrub, and leave the contents in there. And then while you're doing that, go ahead and scrub all this stuff too if you're going to be using it. So it's just convenient to do that. But I'm going to be cleaning this stuff later. This is a clean bucket. And I'm going to get started with, let's see, I don't know which one of these I like to do. There's, that lets the gas out as it does its thing. And I've got my, uh, over here, that's some other sand solution there. It's a different type. And I've got different packs of these guys. And I got this decent wine mix. Anyways, this is my potassium. Uh, potassium, this this will make it stop once you reach that. I usually let it brew up for about two weeks or three weeks. Sometimes, you know, you can do a month if you want. But it's real easy with the honey and the mixture to do this. Uh, you're going to add water, okay? You're going to add water eventually, but you want to get you want to get your honey in there, and you want to get your water in there. So you get your water in here, and then you're going to add. This is two pounds each. It's much easier if you buy the bigger containers, but this is what they had. So I'm just trying to go a little bit slimmer on the cost of this. Uh, this is two pounds, and uh, it's three pounds per gallon if you're going to make a decent meat batch. So for every gallon, I'm going to want to add uh, three pounds of honey. So that's what I've got to do today. It's exactly 15, 15 pounds. Uh, yeah, that's right. 15 pounds of honey per batch uh, if you're making this stuff. So five-gallon bucket, you're going to add 15 pounds of honey. Now, you're adding 15. This one was starting to crystallize, so I went ahead and grabbed it. That equals out because this one's uh, way over... This one's in the three pound zone, and this one here with this one reaches the amount that I need. Anyway, question. Let me get this in here, and then I'll, I'll cover the yeast real quick. 
One of the things you'll probably have to do after you fill your bucket, well, you clean the bucket and fill it up with water. I do hot water. You may have to heat up the honey because some of it might have crystallized. That's kind of what I have to do sometimes. Let's pour it in. And you see some of it's crystallized and I'm having to pull it off. See the little spot the specks there? That's all crystals. Sometimes it happens with honey when it sits up for a while. Doesn't make it bad. Honey doesn't have an expiration date. Uh, honey mead doesn't have an expiration date. You can make it, leave it stored as long as you like. So all throughout your apocalyptic days, you'll have something delicious to drink. And intoxicated. All right. <laughs> I got most of that out. The rest of these now, if you get the ones that are honey's good. It's that Tennessee honey. You get these here. These should just open right up and pour it in. But you're still it's still a long process here. I mean, still it's gonna take you a while. And you can heat them up. If you heat up your containers, it'll come out a little bit faster than this. So I'm having to squeeze it. If you want it to come out a little bit faster, but just leave your bowl that you're doing that with, like I just did. Just leave that bowl out and uh, set these upside down and let the rest of it fall out. That'll help get the rest of it out. Anyways, I'll have to tilt these up so that the rest of it drains out. All right, get all your meat in there. And this is my handy dandy mixer device. Here's the question that everybody wants to know. All right, 15 pounds, or 50, yeah, 15 pounds of honey, five gallon bucket. You could, you could get away with adding one of these, okay? But technically, you're gonna wanna add two of these to your mix. All right, so you're gonna wanna add two to this mix. It won't hurt. And a lot of professionals will actually, professional meat makers, will actually use uh, two packets for five gallons. Yeast, one pack, and then add two. You can use the beer yeast, wine yeast, it doesn't matter which one you use. They all work the same. This is the cheapest, easiest thing to do right here. All right, get that in there. Bring this back over. Let's get some activation going. Now that's done, right? We're done with that. So we're gonna have to get to percolating, right? So I'm gonna move this guy out. I always put this in here so nothing goes in it or gets in it. It doesn't need the styrofoam piece. It just, it's gravity. Let's put the cap back on that. Made my hole. Told you guys I was gonna make a hole. And let's just go ahead and clamp this down first. She's on there now. All right. And we add this guy. Trying to get it in there enough. There we go. And now 
let it sit. That's all you got to do. And in a few weeks, you'll have what you need. And then you can add your uh, potassium. You add your potassium capsule. That stops the process. And then once you stop the process, just let it sit there for a couple of, couple of days after you stop the process. And go ahead and start. Uh, you want to strain through. Uh, you can use cheesecloth to strain it through. You want to strain it to get all the hmm, all the funky stuff out, right? Because it's going to have a lot of particles and stuff floating around. To, to get that out, you want to strain it. So I always strain it once I'm done. And then I take the strained liquid and I put that into my wine bottles, cap them, and put them on shelf. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. You're watching SOS. I'm BA. God bless. Take care.